hello my little crones, my little munchkins and my little chickens. How are you <laughs> today? Well, you know, this is Kim Kardashian. Kim, this is Kim reading day. So, you know, there's a couple of questions that I like to know before I get started with my reading. So, when it comes down to Kim's love life, when it when it really, really, really comes down to her love life, what is she? Is she a highly sex person or is she not a highly sex person? Let me pick out of a card that's going to represent Kimberly. Let's see. And then, let's see. Oh, of course, a number five. Will of Fortune. Ten. Will of Fortune. And you know what the Will of Fortune is? The Will of Fortune is like, you know, you spin the wheel of life. And wherever it lands, it lands. It's like, what do you mean? It's like, it's like, let's make a deal. You spin the wheel. You know you're going to get something. But is that something what you really want? You're going to get something. So this is the wheel of fortune. This is what came out. And so what is that telling me? That's telling me that she's still hunting for me. Let me go another way. Oh, this is so deep. I'm ready for her. Woo! Yes! Okay. She's hunting. In other words, the woman is supposed to be hunted by the male. The male hunts for the woman, but in the time in which we live in, we have women hunting for males. You understand? So she's hunting. So one of the questions I want to ask on my own, so let me get my witchery cards before I lay out cards. I want to know, is everything she's doing, is she doing it to hurt Kanye? Is she... Flaunting this relationship with her and Pete, is she doing it because she know it unravels him to the very core of his beating? And is she whipping him with it? Is she? This will be a positive or a negative. My daughter going to have to help me. Queen of Pentacles. Oh. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. So, okay, so what that tells me, it's telling me yes. Yes. Why? Because a page, a page of the earth, Pentacles, earth, where you make money. All our money come from what we get from the earth, right? Okay, so here you have a child with this kind of power. So yes, she is flaunting it in his face. She knows his weaknesses, but she's going to play like the child, innocent, like, like I said, she'll throw a stone and hide her hands. But the one thing we know about Kimberly is that she's highly sexual. She let that be known to us. Even though she tried to hide it with Ray J, she really did. She even tried to hide it with her first husband. Okay. So now with Kanye, she didn't have four kids by him for nothing, okay? She's not no fool, okay? So, yes, she's, she throws the stone and hides her hands. Do she want him back? She's too angry. She's too hurt. That's why she's doing what she's doing. And a lot of times, when you deal with someone like this, <clears throat> from what I'm getting... I'm getting that she has to be in control. Kim have a control issue. So that's about that page. A page with plentiful. Pages mean you got an abundance. So she has an abundance, but without having control over everything, she feels out of control. She needs to be in control. Okay, so with those two there, let's begin our reading. There's another page. There she is working up something, always working. 
Yep. And I and I get why, you know, she does what she do. Bottom card. Pentacle. It's all about money. Believe that. Because of where she's trying to go and what she's trying to reach. I've already shuffled them. They've already been baked. And she's never going to let everybody know what she has. And you know for a fact, Kimberly will take what she wants. She will steal it right from my nephew. Let's just keep it 100. Come on. We know that nothing is not going to get in her way. I'm telling you, if she wanted bad enough, she'll do whatever it is to get it. No matter who it is. Believe that. That's just who she is. Why? Because Kimberly worked on, I ain't never going to be hungry. I ain't never going to be able to look at these rich people and wish I was like her. So wish look at, I ain't never going to go in no closets and look at how those rich people live and want what they want. They're going to do it for me, for me. And even though I get judged by Ray J, I'm the one who's running, baby. I'm the one who got it all. I'm the one that you don't see coming. Nobody gets to laugh, laugh but me. This is, the, this is what I feel for Kimberly, the hardness in life. I feel like she just grew hard and bitter because of what she had gone through, even though she brought a lot of it on herself for the greed of being famous and known for fame and fortune. And at this point, she too is getting a wear down. So let's see what the card said. One, two, financial, it's, it's, it's a lovers, baby, amazing. Now, y'all ready? Let's go. So what I see for Kimberly is she has everything she ever wanted. Right now, she just feels like I got everything I want. Now I just want to play. Do she want, he, they like on two, uh, let's, let's get this straight first of all. Her and Pete, this is her with everything. And this is Pete still working. But mentally, he sues her. Mentally, he gives her what she wants. Mentally, she can act like a kid around him. Mentally, he gives her what she wants. But Pete is in his 20s. He's 27, 28 years old. He's just figuring out what he wants. And right now, yeah, he has that to give her. But he won't be able to be there for her much longer either. And you'll see, she'll get bored with him and she will move on. Why? That's just how Kimberly is. When you stop being able to give me what I want, it's time to go on. She doesn't believe in sticking around and playing the martyr. She doesn't believe in holding the bag. She doesn't believe in you're going to hurt me and I'm going to be like my sisters. She said, yeah, I cry, but as I'm crying, I'm running. As I'm crying, I'm not going to stay there and let this happen. She doesn't care who judge her. However, I see Kimberly wanting to have another baby. And this is the Empress. I see her wanting to have another child, really. She toys with the idea, but she really goes into some places where she really, really want to have a baby. Oh, my God. But you know what? You know, what I'm seeing in this, I could just read all these cards, but at the end of the day, all I see is Kim trying to please, trying to stay relevant, trying to stay up on her feet, trying to guard her heart, trying to put enough in to convince you that I'm serious, but I ain't trying to fall in love. She's not trying to fall in love. Really? To be truth is, she really...
really don't even know what falling in love is. She really don't. They just feelings for her, you know? They, I just see here, it's just a lot of emotions. Just emotion. I mean, if I were to count, she believe in love, though. She definitely believe in love and mating and relationship. That's what she wants. She wants the perfect relationship. The perfect love affair. The perfect mate. One that don't keep her up at night. One that don't stress her out. One that don't, that don't give her a headache. One that follow the rules. One that know how to act. One that got their own and can keep their emotions intact. One that will adore her. Adore her. And treat her like the queen and the princess that she truly believes she is. Don't argue with the things that I want. As long as I can take care of it, don't worry about it. She just wants somebody she can control. She doesn't see it like that, though. This is why her relationships don't work. Like I said earlier, there are relationships that, that where you have that she needs to find control. And if she's not in control and she's out of balance, remember, you would even think that temperance would show up. It's not here. Why not? Because whenever things get out of balance with her, she will let it go. She's like, I will suffer the consequences. And I will get over it because I'm the one that walks out. Nobody walks out on me. I walk out. And if they do, he who laughs last, laughs best. Even though I don't always respond, that's because I'm always thinking. So she's going to protect herself no matter what. And I hear she's going to protect her kids too. And this card showed up. She's going to protect her kids against anything. And anybody she loves, she's going to protect them. That's just the way she is. She is a little feisty fighter. Very, she can be very emotional. But she believes in love, though. I don't mean to giggle. She truly believes in love. That's why she's in one relationship after the other relationship. Because she truly believes she's going to strike gold. And until Kimberly learned that happiness comes from within you, and when you have to learn how to love yourself and be by yourself, not for six months, but literally, take some time, a year or two, and be by yourself. And until you can do that, you're just going to be going from male to male looking for this. I think your sister Courtney said it best, the fairy tale. And I'm sorry to tell you all, fairy tales don't exist. They don't. They only in movies. However, you get that beginning, that spring stage of the relationship where everything is working fine and lovely. But then you got to go through fall. You got to go through winter. You have to go through summer. And when you can weather all of that, you know, sometimes a winter can last a year or two or three. Sometimes spring can last. It just depends on where you're at. So that's why it's good to give an assessment over marriage after seven years. Because at seven years, you know you're ready for a change. You understand? So, getting back to Kimberly, I see right now, she feels as though there's a lot going on. She feels like she could take it, but nothing. I'm, I, 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 wait a minute. I, it's got to be. There are only two cards. I'm telling you this. And this is what I picked. There are only two cards out of this whole deck. And this is on the bottom. Everything that Kim has is superficial. It's physical. Outside, having a baby, which is earthly, and being in love, which is earthly, right? Kimberly is here. Finding it's about the money. It's about the, let me show you. It's about the money. It's about the money. Let me slow down. It's about the money. 
It's about the money. It's about the money. It's about, oh, you think I'm joking. Okay. It's about the money. And, oh, yep. And it's about the money. It's about the money. And it's about the hard work and all of the emotions that she has to put in it to make this money. This is why she says, get up off your ass and work. If you're doing something you love, then get up and do it. I think that's how she meant it. But she became a bitter Betty. And even she's working now. Even she has to slay for the beast now. She's working for the vet too. She's working. She gets tired and weary. But she's working. She's got to pay the devil what's due. They all do. Now that they made fame and fortune, they got to pay. And it's starting to look like you can see the fabric is unraveling because now they're fighting with each other. And you know they never used to fight. Not like that where it gets physical. I mean it's to the point now Courtney is speaking out her mind about the injustice. So you see their kingdom is coming down. But they're documenting it all. And I think that's what makes them special. Because I really get to see Courtney say, I don't like this. This is not what I signed up for. This is not an, ex you can't override me. I am an executive producer. So mama cleared that. She got out of, she got out of it. I don't know if she's there for Kali and Kendall, but I know that she's fading out of it. Watch closely. Like I said, I haven't watched the show, but I get little snippets and stuff because it's everywhere. But with Kim in this, I'm telling you, she is going. She will fight. She will let me be phrases. She will move heaven and earth for her vanity, for her vanity. Her looks and her style means everything to her. Everything. And if you're going to fall in love with her, then you're going to have to fall in love with that about her. She's going to be the. She's going to be the queen of fashion. No matter what. She wants to own that. Even though she doesn't. She wants to own it. It makes her feel pretty when she walked the street. And if it, like she always said, it was a fantasy. She always wanted to be a, a top runway model. She wanted to be tall. But she's only 5'3". So this is, so the fact that she's 5'3", and she's owning it, she's owning it. You understand what I'm saying? She's 5'3", she's owning it. And so it's like, all I can do is wear fashion. I can't be that runway, but I can dress. Even though she has no skill for me in dressing herself like, like a, regular, a regular person. But to go out there and think big like that, she need help with that. But she keeps her body in that place where they can dress her like that. But even that is going to start changing in the next couple of years. Because I'm telling you, it all starts falling apart as we age, no matter what we do. So, and again, as I said about looking at all these cards, it's about money. And it's about her fame. But let me rephrase that word fame. It's about money, and it's about her reputation. It's like, she's not going to let it go down like that. And, and it's, it's just not. It's, it's just not. And like I said, she's down to the bare minimum. She's throwing everything out there. She's even showing how she, she's even saying she loves sex. She, she's doing everything because they know that their show is not doing what it needs to do. And so tempers are flaring. But sometimes it's just time to know when to fold up. When to hold up and know when to walk away. And I think that they are having a hard time in understanding that their dynasty is coming down. Why? Because it's old, it's dated. We want to see more and what we want they don't want to give us. Chloe is in hiding.
We haven't heard anything from Chloe within the last 30 days. Everything that Chloe had to say, and I went searching. If you find something, let me know. But I'm assuring you, Chloe has not been doing much of anything, quoting on stuff that happened six months ago. Chloe is out of the limelight right now. Why? Because Chloe is still dealing with Tristan. And they, and she doesn't want it out there. And how she's choosing, as I said, when I did her reading, she's learning how to balance this. And that no matter what somebody else say, I'm going to do what's right for me. And I'm so glad that she got that. So she's starting to understand it doesn't matter what you say or what anybody else say. She's saying, if I want to be with Christian, I'm going to do me. And I'm happy because that's how we truly learn. Keep her in your prayers. Um, like I said, anything about Kim, she believe in love. So that, that makes sense to me. Why she go from man to man, man, to, she just believe in love. She loved the thrill of it. She liked the newness of it. She likes, she likes it. She likes having a man around. She, like, she just hooked on a man. And my spirit is saying, because she starts so young in sexual relationships, my spirit is letting me know she started young. And so because of that, she has this fantasy in her mind about love and love affair, and apparently it runs through the family, apparently. This idea, this romanticized love affair. And maybe they thought that money would make it all stay. And I guess until their horror, no, money make them leave. So anyway, um, Baby Chrome, how was that reading? It was good. Did it help you understand anything about Kimberly? Is it fair to say she's a narcissist? Most definitely. And I, and I think she could even admit that too. Yeah, she is a narcissist, true. And like I said, she's not going to let nothing deep get in there. Why? It just seemed like she's devoid of that. Like, to live like this and go after what you want. Remember, Kimberly will steal to get what she want now. She would, and, and I don't mean this in a d d d disturbing way, just looking at her cards. She would, before she sit up at night, the day you get her crying, sitting up at night over something, oh my God, she coming with a vengeance. She's a, she's a tit for tat. She's a, you get me, I get you back. That's why she's a lawyer, a, a baby lawyer. She's a baby lawyer. What do you mean? She's a baby lawyer. She's a baby. She know enough to, to maneuver her way through the law. And that's how she's going to rise. I'm telling you, this girl said I ain't going out like that. And even though this show may seem like it's coming to an end, and it is, and it's time. Because are they really helping us? Or are they driving us more mad to, what are they, BBTs? What are they? BBLs? BB, BB, what is that? Uh, what are you talking about? But, big butt lift? But I oh, don't know. a Brazilian butt lift. Oh, Brazilian butt lift. I mean, I don't, I, I mean, it's, it's sad. But they have served the beauty industry very, very, very well. You know? They the ones who put Birkins in our faces along with the housewives. They put a lot of fashion to the world. What do you say? The world that's not and where they are. They pour fashion down to the world where we could see it. Where it made somebody just working in a factory say, I want to have that. And made people think bigger and more and more of themselves. Is this a good thing? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is Kim is, is a mogul. And she is a force to reckon with. And I'm telling you, 
she wants a child. Will of Fortune came out. In other words, hey, it, she'll never say she's going to be tied down with anybody right now. Why? Because she don't know really what she wants. She just want to be happy. And the moment that he stops supplying her with that happy juice, whatever that is, she'll let him go too. She's about ending her days with some happiness. She's about Kim now. It's like it's about me. And it's like, frankly, I don't give a damn. She done gotten hard and bitter. But that don't mean she don't mean she ain't got no love in her now. I'm not saying that. She believe in love. She's looking for the perfect love. And I think she's starting to believe it doesn't exist. Well, is there anything else as she stir up her brew? Because she, she can get a man still. But can she get a man for who she want them to be or who they or what she can do for them? So this is a, a, a struggle that, we, that they have to live with. So, I hope that wasn't Jimbo Jangles. I hope you understood. Do you have a question? No, I do not. Did you, what do you walk away with this reading? That Kim is about Kim. That's and only it. Kim. That's it. <laughs> yes. That's it. Because my question would have been, is Kim a narcissist? What that's, are you saying? Yes, because it sounds like... But it. has she shown you? Have yeah. you seen her enough to draw that conclusion? Because only you can say that. Is she a narcissist to you? Yeah. Well, she's a narcissist to me. She's a narcissist to a million, million people. That's why I'm saying calling Kim a narcissist is ridiculous. I'm sure she knows she's a narcissist. I'm sure she knows that. I mean, how can she not? You know, she just probably wouldn't like it if you said she was vain. Hmm. You see, she could be a narcissist, but she doesn't equate that to being vain. If that makes sense. So, yes. And like I said, she really, she really, they, you know, she, they disappointed about the levels of it. It's hard to let go. This is what they've known. For, so, for 15 years of their life. And it's hard to see that you're coming down. And what's, and the thing that's causing them to fall is the thing that caused them to rise. It's just that nobody wants to see a 41-year-old woman break up and out there with a young man. We say we like it, but when you put it in our faces, we, we, don't, we, we, we cringe. We, we say we want to like it. But when we see it, we, we cringe at it. You know what I mean? We say we want to see a woman just breastfeed her child. But when we show it, somehow or another, we cringe at things. And this is what I see, Kim. Now we're cringing at them. The things that we wanted, now those are the things that make us cringe. Why? Because we done seen them now at the very bottom of the barrel. We seen how low things can go. And now it's like, if you're not slinging mud at this point, we're not interested in your fantasies. However, I am. But I'm just one voice among many. Who going to hear this station? I don't have many followers. I'm growing day by day. So anyway, with that being said, that is my read on Kimberly, um, Kim Kardashian. She believe in love and she believe in family. You know, um, she doesn't take and let things wear her down. The moment you wake Kim down with something, she's going to think of a way to come back at you. She's going to think of a way. To be deeply in love, I don't even know if Kim will allow herself. Yes, when Kim gets sad and Kim gets depressed, Kimberly is going to get up and do something about it. So, there is not much to say on her. Why? Because everything about her is so open. So, whatever she's dealing with is going to be about money. It's about her money. It's about her coins, 100%. It's about what she can do and what she can get away with. It's about her business. It's about that. It's about her empire. This is what it's about for Kim. So, if you're looking for any internal 
thinks the only thing internal about Kim is that she wants to have a baby. Whether or not she do it, time will tell. But that's definitely something that she gives thought about, and that is giving birth. And um, she doesn't have time to think deep thoughts. Not really. She's too busy in building her Kimberly empire. Well, I hope that helped. I, 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 I said it the way I seen it. She's just not going to be the one. You're not going to keep her up at night. It's just, mm -mm. It's just not going to be. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Why? Because she doesn't believe in it. It goes against her religion. She feels as though get up and do something about it. And she will fight and fight until she can't fight anymore. Well, that is truly my reading on Kimberly. I hope you enjoyed it. It let me know she's very strong and she's stubborn. And she stands on what she believes in. And she will go after what she wants. And nothing gonna stop. If she gotta steal, if she gotta lie, whatever she gotta do to get it, she's gonna do it. That's who you're dealing with. Make no mistake, she's a go-getter. She's a fighter. And she believes in making her realities real. Her dreams a reality. So that's Kim Kardashian. She is the reason Kardashian is. So that's all I got, my little crones, my little munchkins, and my little chickens. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you some midweek hot topics. Ciao.